PAF by prime factorization method. We already know HCF and we have learnt prime factorization in the previous class. Today we will learn how to find HCF by prime factorization by two methods. Method 1 Find the HCF of 32 and 24. Step 1 Find the prime factors of the given numbers by the repeated division method. First, find the prime factors of 32. Begin with the smallest prime number 2. Dividing 32 by 2, we get 16. On dividing 16 by 2, we get 8. Again, we divide 8 by 2 to get 4. And 4 divided by 2 gives 2. As 2 is a prime number, we divide it by itself and get 1 as the quotient. Thus, the prime factorization of 32 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now, find the prime factors of 24. Dividing 24 by 2, we get 12. Now, divide 12 by 2 to get 6. Divide 6 by 2 to get 3. 3 is a prime number, so we divide it by itself and get 1 as a quotient. Thus, the prime factorization of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Step 2. Circle the common prime factors of the given numbers. Here, the common factors are 2, 2 and 2. Step 3. The product of the common prime factors of the numbers gives the HCF. Thus, the HCF of 32 and 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. Let us take another example. Find the HCF of 44, 77 and 110. First, we find the prime factorization of all these numbers individually by repeated division method. We get the prime factorization of 44 as 2 into 2 into 11. 77 as 7 into 11 and 110 as 2 into 5 into 11. Next, circle the common prime factors of 44, 77 and 110. Here, the common factor is only 11. Since there is only one common factor here, the HCF of these numbers is also the same, that is 11. Now, let us look at method 2. Let us find the HCF of 32 and 24 again using this method. Here, we will be finding the prime factors of both the numbers together. Step 1. Find the least prime factor that divides the given numbers completely. Begin with the smallest prime number, that is 2, as the numbers 32 and 24 are even numbers, they are divisible by 2. So, 32 divided by 2, we get 16. And 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. Step 2. 
continue in this manner until the quotients obtained are not divisible by the same prime number and then stop the division now we divide the numbers 16 and 12 by 2 so 16 divided by 2 we get 8 and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 we again divide the numbers 8 and 6 by 2 to get 4 and 3 now here numbers 4 and 3 are not divisible by the same prime number thus we stop the division here step 3 the product of the common prime factors of the numbers gives the hcf the numbers we wrote on the left are the common prime factors thus the hcf of 32 and 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8 let us take another example find the hcf of 120 100 and 140 begin with the smallest prime number that divides all these numbers completely and continue in this manner until the quotients obtained are not divisible by the same prime number and then stop the division now here numbers 6 5 and 7 are not divisible by the same prime number thus we stop the division here thus the hcf of 120 One hundred and one hundred forty is equal to two into two into five is equal to twenty. So, kids, which method was easy for you all to find the HCF?